sending you appreciation from Lectoris. I am the representative from there, from that place where you speak and have asked for us to come. We are grateful. Are you from Venus? No, I am from Lecturus. Lecturus. You say Lecture. Okay. We pronounce it Lecturus. The name means nothing to us. If you mispronounce it, it matters not. Do you have questions for us? Do you call yes. us? I believe, I Stephen. Am, I am Fensin Tirita. Yes, just call me Fensin Tirita. Welcome. Thank you. Can Can you tell us a little bit about your your planet, your world? We are a higher species dimensionally than you are, but we do have much interest in your connection to the galaxy. We bring you peace. We bring you understanding that you are chosen. We bring you understanding not to take this for granted. Your movement in the system of ascension makes you very interesting in many ways because it's not been observed in this kind of cultural setting before. Continue if you must ask questions. So how were we chosen? There was a time thousands of years ago when they seeded your planet actually longer than that. We have no comparison on your timeline to what thousands of years ago, but that is the thought process this mind has brought into it. But many distances ago, you were seated in many places at once and then returned to discover that the seeding process had become hybrid with those that existed in early parts of your development with the early reptilian population that died out because of lack of sun and oxygen but they still continued off-world at some scenario and were returned in a different way, just as seed material for your planet. Therefore, many different cultures arose from your planet on your planet that are unique to the universe because they had different levels of perception of what was happening and then they were visited by others who gave them elemental logic of spices and early developments that were a little beyond that which they were really supposed to have at that time and these things intermingled you will notice that there are pyramids all over your planet in different places but they look differently because they developed culturally differently than they were 
seeded to become. Does that make sense to you? Because the very start, the Stonehenge, was meant to be part of the initial de development as a terraforming apparatus to, which changed into many different things over time. It was added to its performance and given many different activities and purposes, but originally it helped to create the foundations of development on your planet. It also sent out the energy of third dimensional energy of creativity in the sense that it helped move evolution along in a very quick manner in some senses. Your civilization moves from the beginning to evolutionary portions much quicker than other planets did because it was seeded. You will understand that many planets are much, much older and many systems are much, much older. You are at the edge of the galaxy that you are in and therefore developed later. You would think that you would be out there and develop sooner. This is not so. Your sun was not developed in a very strong fashion. It's a medium-sized sun and therefore it took a more time for you to develop with this kind of action in the universe. I am sorry I am not speaking well. But let me tell you that your spiritual guidance was also given some direction by visitations over the centuries that you call them, hundred year periods which we will have to analyze but we know now that you are at a position to move into your final goal at this time. There are many goals afterwards, but this goal is very important because it is the life of the galaxy. There are many species that have been around many centuries and they are dying because they are lacking the things that humanity has and the different materials, minerals and chemicals in their system that humanity has in their bodies and you will help with hybridization of galactic proportion and help them to survive. Not just in a light way, but your immune systems will be encouraged by these hybridizations and your immune thought processes will be helped by mental capacities. I'm not sure you even understand that yet speaking to the different elements that consist of your body and moving into a diverse culture of different kinds of beings that interact and can interbreed and become a within the next 10,000 years almost a galactic culture of very important structure and understanding. Questions now? Stephen? Oh. oh. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am sufficient. Sweet. Um, I just wonder if I had a connection uh, with y'all, and I would love to connect with your energy. I send you light and love. Thank you. 
our energy is not nearby except for where I am at this time. However, your energy and our energy shall connect if you wish it to be so. Yes, yes. Thank you. Hi, Jan. Hello. Well, hello. Did you say what dimensions you were in? I did not. Would you like to? It is not necessary because your understanding of dimensions is inadequate. Okay. Are you physical? Yes. We have physicality, but not in the same way that you have physicality. Our physicality is more structured in the sense that we can do more things at once than you can do because it is necessary to control many things at once within our culture. The time is not time. It is distance. It is relevant, relevant, relevant actualities. Relevant actualities. Yes. Have you... Have you visited Earth? No. But we have observed Earth many, many years, as you call them, centuries, if you wish, distances. We have much distance with you. Mm. So we don't have you in our history, you like not... with the pyramids or such. We were evolved beyond what you could use from us. We let others do the work because they could do it more effectively at that time. We would have only pushed you too far ahead and that would not have been good. I understand. We have learned to overcome what you call violence. We do not experience violence. We do not experience those things of negativity to the degree that you have them. However, we do need to study them for they do cause advancement in your species even though they are negative and they seem anti-progressive they do help with your evolution, which is fascinating. Do we have <clears throat> someone on Earth incarnated here that has been incarnated? We wish you? not to be part of who you are yet. There okay. are those that have incarnated from everywhere to Earth they are willing and wanting to experience your third dimension. The people that come from our area of space have incarnated on Earth many centuries, as you call them, ago, much distance, and found it not acceptable at this time. However, in the oversoul, as you call it, it is acceptable to go there if they wish. I personally have not been. I have studied much. I would be an expert on your existence, but it would be better for me to come there and expose myself to your actual cultural differences, but there is some reasons for us not to be able to do so at this time. Okay. Um, this dense reality that we are experiencing here on Earth, uh, have you found, from what you know, uh, how rare is it? Do you know any other planets that are as dense as, as this planet? This planet was purposely seeded in the way to express itself to the universe 
in a way that is unlike any other planet. You may not realize, except for now, that you are unique, and that is why so many want to experience you. However, there is another planet on the very opposite end of the galaxy that they are working on in a very early stage to do something similar for a different part of the existences that cannot be helped with what you are doing, such as insectoids and mantis and reptilian. Reptilian can be helped by you, but only to a certain degree. This other seeding will be for the different cultures that are not warm-blooded and not part of the seeding culture that you have experienced. Mm. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Ah. <clears throat> I would like to ask if um, the people that are sitting with Jim, if anybody has a question there. I have a question. Do you have any advice for us on how we can advance more easily or towards the end goal? The development of telepathy on your world is becoming different than any other advanced world because usually telepathy grows in a constant not the same as your world. Yours is very diverse and your telepathy is different. It is more diverse and it reads different things within each culture which is very curious. Your telepathy in the Far East is not spiritually guided and therefore it reads more intellectually than those that are spiritually guided which mean, lead, leans toward emotional readings but to help you along we would like to tell you that telepathy is your salvation in some ways we worry about you not being able to exist beyond this timeline due to those that are violent and have agendas that are not peaceful because they would like to control everything. Those of you that are enlightened have the answer to this, but you cannot give it to them at this time. They are closed on their sensibilities of peace and understanding, wisdom and goodness, because they feel that once they control, then they will be in control of peace, wisdom and goodness. But this is not so. They do not have the right sensibilities for this to be carried out. What would you? I'm sorry. What would you say is the best way for us to develop telepathy from the heart? I do not know your species and how you develop physically. Your spirituality is becoming known to be strong in some ways. I cannot teach you what I do not know. You are a mystery to us in many ways. Your spirituality diverse. Your acceptance of each other strangely interesting. You do have an interaction, but it is not complete enough for you to know each other well. You believe you do, but it does lack. And so I cannot advise you. I am not one to tell you what to do. But in our past, 
which is far different in its origin and development. Telepathy played a great role, and I believe it will play a great role in your world as well. Right now, I do not see it happening, but we were told that it will develop in a distance that is not too far from you. Okay, thank you. Sure. Hello. Greetings. Ah. Greetings. I am Shir from Israel. Ah. Continue. I want to ask you if you are involved with the hybridization program, if you give your DNA in order to help humanity to ascend. No. Okay. We um, are observers. We are not involved in giving of ourselves to you except for esoteric knowledge, as you call it. Sometimes it is necessary to bring information to you from the universe that you need at a certain point that might be crucial, that no one else is bringing you. We just help you survive. We find this the most meaningful gift. Okay. Thank you for your efforts. Our um, DNA would be useless to you. Okay. Um, if you ever uh, want to visit Earth or Earth Links, I uh, volunteer to meet you here. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any question uh, for me, maybe, that uh, I can answer you about humanity? Why would you want to live in the desert? <laughs> I don't live in the desert. We have desert places. There are I some see. people who have... Hmm? We looked up your country. There is desert and dryness. Um, actually, Israel divided in uh, three ways. Desert some uh, snowy mountains in the middle. The middle part has a lot of trees and uh, nature. This is where I live, actually. Yes, I see that part. Mm -hmm. Understood. Our planet is much more lush. That is why we, were, we made it that way, because we enjoy the nature of the way it looks. We made it so that it is a sensible vision for our enjoyment and there is no dry deserts like you have. Animals mm -hmm. of that nature that live in your desert can and we have developed ways to bring them into lush surroundings and still survive. Mm. Yes, I can uh, relate why you, uh, you don't want to live in the desert. I do not. Your country is not beautiful to me as much as others. Okay. But that is not to put it down. It is just my preference. Understandable. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hello, this is Dan. How are you? Dan. I've been aware for uh, some weeks now of a lecture being that's been in my, uh, I've been sensing it in my awareness. Lectorus, yes. Um, I was told uh, their name is Maltot. Maltot. I know Maltot. Does Maltot have any special message for me? Yes. May I know what that message is, please? Yes. Your leadership ability is growing. You must understand that when becoming a leader, 
You must listen carefully. Sometimes you do, but other times there are thoughts in your head that can come to you that interfere with the listening process. Your life is to be of meaning. Therefore, you must take this purpose and be serious with it. It is not that it is light to be taken, but it is that that you must know that you are profound and that your understanding be well-meaning. Learn to speak to everyone in very many levels. You can do this. You have that understanding. But listening is your weakest part. You must learn to actually understand the words and know the meaning behind some sentences that may mean something else to others. Okay, yeah, that's sometimes difficult to do. Yeah, yeah, that, that is this a challenge. Is why we, this is why we speak to you, because we want you to be that who is understood and gives the meaning and understanding that is to be given in a proper way. Those thoughts that you have given to others sometimes are misunderstood and therefore to be your most I meaningful self your listening ability must increase. Okay. All right, and, and Mal Todd is is a lecture being I'm told from Lectura. a couple of weeks ago. Lector, okay. Lectoris. Lectoris being, okay. You may say lecture, but we will call ourselves lectorians, lectoris. Lectoris or lecturian, okay. It's spelled okay. the same way as your lecture, as I understand. Yeah, that yeah, that was that's the most common understanding of it. Okay. No. All right. That that's all I had. Thank you so much for coming and thank, thank you for you sharing with for me. For your purpose and for your giving of yourself to others in the way of valuable meaning to them, raising their spirituality. You are on your way in fourth dimension. Thank you for your grounding. Thank you. Hi, um, this is Sabrina again. I just have a yes. question. What, what would you say makes a good leader? I would say well-roundedness. That of understanding, being able to accept, being able to give, being able to know and not be controlled by those things around you, but to be controlled by the spirit that is within you and without you. Those leadership abilities, being able to stand when others fall, being able to speak for what you believe is correct when others are afraid, the loss of fear of who you are, courageousness in your development of purity. Purity meaning of spirit. The body does not hold purity in the sense that it can be in its fullness, but the spirit can move within many realms Okay. Um, where, where, it, where are you located? What star? We cannot tell you that. Okay. All right. Um, and then somebody was asking if you could tell us what is it that you enjoy doing? I enjoy everything. Everything that you, I can do, I enjoy, because that is the way I would like my creation to be. There are times when there is not enjoyment, and the reason for that is that we must learn to be objective. We must learn to be multifaceted. 
And therefore, that takes effort that sometimes is not enjoyable. But once we reach that level in our understanding, it is enjoyable. Hmm. Um, in terms of objectivity um, and leadership, what is what? How would you say it's the best way for you to come up with a conclusion? The conclusion that you think it's best for you, or even for a group, um, while staying objective and listening to others. Am I making myself clear? Your question is very confusing to me. It has taken on several different levels of word processes. Yes, I, I figure as much. Um, you, we, you have your own ideas of things, uh, what, what you should do, and there is also the greater good for the group. Um, how do you choose uh, what is best? The group is of one mind in some places. Now, there are personal decisions to be made. You must make your personal decisions on your own. The group comes together and decides what's best for the group, but that is not necessarily what is best for the individual at certain times. So the individual must relate to the group what is the best for them, and they may leave the group for periods of time to have their own understanding, development, and growth, which is acceptable. But with the community of our thoughts, we come to agreements, but then we separate to have our own diversity with our own thought processes, development, growth, and creativity. We are great creators. We are great. We call ourselves artists, as you call yourselves on earth artists, but in a much different way. Our sensibility of artisticness reaches deeper into the universe, reaches deeper into the community. Each of us is a work of art in ourselves and is continually changing to enlighten one another in color, sensibilities of light, processes of dynamic energy, and things that you do not yet comprehend on the quantum physics level, on the exogenic genesis level, we are participating with the universe in many senses to become greater beings. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. Um, does anybody else have any more questions? Yes, please. Uh, hello, my name is Sharon. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. Is it Stephen Sarah? I did not hear that. How did you say your name again, please? It is all right. You do not oh. have to pronounce it for me. Okay. Uh, I it, it is not necessary for us to be on a familiar basis. I only give it for my introduction and for my protocol. Okay. But Thank you, you are an interesting energy. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, once again, thank you for being here. Um, if you can speak to our understanding, um, I would love to know uh, if you could describe your physical appearance. 
of the Lecturus. The Lecturus species is a very close energy light being. We do have physicality in the sense that we can move from one place to another in the sense that you move from one place to another. We are not static. We do have a shell or a sensitive outer portion that enables us to feel sensations and uh, help each other with sensation matters and protection. The very fact that we have an outer shell, a sensitive outer portion, is to help us with security and help us not go to places that we are not able to go. But our light portion can enter areas where you cannot. We do not have legs like you have. You have sexualities in a different way than we do. It is still a part of who we are because it has meaning in our in our past, present, and future. And so therefore it must continue and we appreciate the sensation of it and the mere understanding of what it represents and how to portray energy, not portray, to represent energy to each other. This is pardon. One moment. Ta. Ah. Our physicality is not on your dimension as well. Is that enough for you? Yes, thank you. I had one more question. Ah. May yeah. I ask what <laughs> May I ask what your personal excitement is? My personal excitement is reaching and understanding new worlds and species, understanding their physiology, their makeup, their psychological map, their other communicative sensations. You see, our communication comes from a different way and angle than yours. Yours is all in the head. Ours is physically all through the body. We can communicate with our entire being. You can too, but not in the same way. You give off signals with your hands and legs, arms and body, energy with your head and expression. These are the ways you express yourself with your entire body, but we can do it energetically as well as dynamically in many senses. I can change my shape, but only to a certain position, but this will tell someone exactly what my stance is and what my opinion is, who I am, where I am, what I am doing. It is much more expressive. My whole body is like your face. That's fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing. I was wondering really quick, uh, uh, how often do y'all explore other universes? Always. And uh, and uh, do y'all still eat physical, uh, physically and drink physically? Only when necessary. Sweet. And do y'all offer sight to sight? No. You could not exist here. <laughs> Thank you. Much love. 
Much love to you. Express yourself. I believe we are done with the questions. Um, I want to thank you for coming and letting us learn about you. It uh, was it. my learning and pleasure experience to come here and interact with your synapse process and learn more about your physicality in a different way. This is first cultural understanding that I have had of you. I do not look at you as primitive beings, although your evolution is low at this time. You are dynamic, interesting, and worthy of. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, unless you have a question for us, there's something you would like to know. Uh, I would need more research to understand your brain. Okay. <laughs> I am not sure why it is divided as it is with different things on each side. I imagine your evolution has something to do with this. There are many theories on why the brain is divided on your planet. It is divided on other species, but not in the same way. It is divided for intentional purposes. Yours seems to divide it in a very haphazard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but um, certain uh, certain parts hold certain sections. Uh, yes, so I believe that, that it, it is important for something in your galaxy. Perhaps it has something to do with your immune systems and how you will eventually be able to speak with different parts of your brain to the galaxy because I believe this is part of your evolution to be multifaceted in communication. Mm, interesting. Hello? I have one question. Sorry. That is correct. Okay. Is that okay? I'm Alan. Alan. Nice to meet you. Um, Meeting you is um, pleasurable, yes. Uh, thank you. Um, there may be people watching that don't fully understand what's going on. So my question is, do you have a message for the skeptical people out there that don't fully understand? Perhaps we can bring some awareness to them. How can I present awareness to those that are unaware? The w awareness within them has to speak to them. Okay. I can only give them a resonation of awareness. They must accept the resonation and bring it into themselves and awaken. Other than that, I cannot affect sensibilities to the point where they awaken from osmosis. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming. We Thank you. Appreciate it. Much love. Much love to you, yes. Kukwat. You are welcome. We Greetings. want a telepath or Lakesh. Omak. 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 Yes, we haven't spoken to Lakesh in a while, so that would be beautiful. He gets to hug Brian. Omak. Right? Are you guys cool enough? Okay. Can we turn it down a little bit or we can stop?